It's very important that you have a classroom when you start a young dog. Don't take them out to work straight away. So here we've got a nice yard with not too many corners in it, good fencing, few quiet sheep that won't take on the dog. The space is just big enough for the dog to get around the sheep clearly. I uh, sold my business and, and left the city and went and started working for food and board with breeders and on large sheep and cattle stations and slowly learnt more and more about uh, working dogs and, and learnt a lot from some very good stockmen that I was lucky enough to, to work for, some great mentors as well as some of those earlier breeders and also learnt a lot from uh, trialling. Trialling teaches you that less is more and that quite often you achieve a lot more by applying less force and less pressure to your stock and allowing and giving them time to think. I also learned a lot from going to different training days by different stockmen such as Greg Prince and uh, Neil McDonald and obviously have a, a great debt owing to all those people which I've been able to um, pick up bits and pieces from but probably the thing that's taught me the most is now conducting my own train days as the saying goes nothing teaches like teaching and that's helped me to evolve too. Every dog has their own persona and a different effect on sheep. So now we've got a pup showing a nice bit of eye. This is what we call the handshake or the introduction where the, um, the dog introduces themselves to the sheep. All we'll do is apply a little bit of pressure behind the shoulder. Go get a package. He's also an Australian Yard Dog Champion and also had the title last year of the Victorian Yard Dog Champion. We can see that she likes moving clockwise more than anti-clockwise to showing aggression. So this little pup he probably needs to be shown just to submit and lie on his back and relax like that. 